Have the FX codes been caught once again faking trades that they've taken? Well, let's find out. Also, DJ codes still did not come back to me regarding the cause that I have purchased, but I've made peace with it and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to let it go. That is the two topics that we're going to cover in today's video. We're going to select two winners for the $5,000 founder account giveaway also. And remember, you can also stand a chance to win a $5,000 in a prop funded account. All you need to do is like the video, comment, share, do whatever you need to do to get the word out there. Now, before I continue, I also want to thank today's sponsor, that is Usain. Now, Usain is a platform that I recently came across that I started using that offers you access to movies, series, anime, as well as free live sports as well. So if you're like me, who like to watch a game of football now and then, maybe a movie, chill X on a nice Sunday, you should definitely check out Usain. The best part about all this, there is no ads while you watch and you can download the app on your phone and on your TV. So that makes sure that you never miss out on the action as well. I will leave a link in the description box below, guys. Check out Usain today. Now, the first topic we are going to cover is DJ Coats. Now, for those of you that don't know, I purchased a course from DJ Coats way back in uh, October, right? Now, the course has never taken place. And basically what happened was um, the, the, you know, the, the course was supposed to take place or the class was supposed to take place. Uh, the class never took place. Well, it did place, take place, but there was a little bit of a problem and anybody, everybody couldn't get in and they decided not to have it. And basically what happened was they said they were going to upload the course to the, um, to the website. And still, as you can see by the screenshot, um, well, you know, it still hasn't been uploaded. It's almost been two months and I decided, you know what, it's fine. I'm just going to leave it. They can keep that money. I'm not going to waste my time. Also, someone did say in the comment section, how do I know that it's really DJ Coach? Well, here's the conversation that started. That is the number 0791386712. Now, this is public information. That is why I can make it publicly available to you as well. Now, that number is a direct reference to this number that they've posted in DJ Coach um, WhatsApp group, which you can see there, 0791386712. You guys must understand, well, most of you need to understand that there's a lot of research and investigation that goes into the content that gets created to make sure we are as close to being accurate. And if you can't verify the information, we will never put it out to the public to see. Sometimes it's a, it's a lesson for the people and sometimes it's not. So, you know, so here you guys can see, I'm not going to take you through all of the chats, but you know, you can see here based on the last two weeks, I've been asking them about the class. They've been telling me that they will schedule another class. I've been asking since a month ago, when will they upload the class? That never took place. And I've also now recently asked on Saturday, uh, you know, um, sorry, on the 2nd of December, I asked guy, when will the class be uploaded? He told me it was going to be uploaded last week. Nothing happened on Saturday. I sent another message, nothing happened. So at this point, I kind of know that I got scammed and it is okay. Like for me, I always say that it is okay. Uh, because one thing I've learned in the society that we're living in today is that you are basically uh, you can't come out to give your opinion about when you uh, when you potentially got scammed. Sorry. And that is one of the reasons why we come out and we talk on behalf of other people. And people will always make these comments to say that, you know, you, you're hating on DJ codes. You know, it is okay to say that um, like it is okay to be happy for someone when they've achieved something in life but you know at the expense of another person's loss is not the way to do that and maybe most of you who think otherwise will learn a valuable lesson in life when something like this happens to you now the next conversation we're going to talk about over here is from DJ sorry it's from the FX Goats now someone reached, reached out and said I was just watching the FX Goats do their thing uh, bro can you please explain how you take buys and gold when you close it says sells now the thing is like this so normally when we receive information we we don't just take the information by face value we normally dissect it as you can see this was seen on friday we were sitting with this you know for you know for a couple of hours and we also spend a lot of time looking at the information to understand and we couldn't understand some of it so we reached out to third parties people who uh, uh, has got brokers just to give us a better indication as opposed to us coming out here and say that oh my god you guys are lying now this is a more positive video for the fx goats and one thing i do want to say is that you are not going to hear them come to me and say you know thank you so much for that good feedback or for that good video 
they are waiting for a video I'm going to do tomorrow on the one like Kodo Forex. You know, they, they're kind of waiting for videos like that before they come out and, you know, they attack you. But if you say something good about them, they'll, they'll never come to you and say, yeah, bro, you know what? I actually appreciate that video. It means a lot to me. Um, but you know what? That's not my problem. So as you can see, according to this video over here that was uh, recorded at exactly 7 minutes and 57 seconds, uh, you can see here that uh, we have the FX codes basically taking people through, right? Now, you, you can see basically at this keyframe over here, they're about to close this gold trade. Now, one thing that you can uh, notice over here is that when they do close the trade, you can clearly see it's a buy. Uh, and once they go to close the buy, you can see over there, the first thing that you can notice over there is that... Um, it says the order has been placed in a queue market and, and then it says sell gold, right? Now it was a buy and they had to close it and it, once they close it, it said sell. Now if you go further, there you can see here it says done, sell also, but it was a buy. Now the reason why this happens in many cases is when you use a heads account. You know when you, I'm sure most of you have seen when you use the MT4 or MT5 platform, at the top it will normally say heads now look i'm no expert when it comes to broker uh, services and how they work if there is any expert uh, they want to maybe clarify a little bit how this works but that is my understanding in terms of why it's doing what it is doing based on the information that i have received therefore we've also watched other positions that they closed in the video as well and it did the exact same thing so it would be uh it would be foolish of us to come out here and say that these guys are faking the results when clearly there's multiple positions that was closed the same way that this one was closed therefore we're going to debunk this and we're going to say that it is not fake it is not them manipulating the system to make you think that they've made these trades themselves however one thing i do want to say aside from this if people are that desperate to make people believe that it is possible to grow a small account, I think the best thing you can do is do not trade with a broker that you are affiliated with and do not be afraid to say your investor's password with the people that you are aiming or trying to please as well. I think that's the easiest way to put it out there for people to understand exactly that it is possible for you to achieve the $50 into the mall or because a lot of these guys, when they do have these challenges, they try to withhold as much information from the public as possible and i think the best thing people could do in the future if they really that desperate to prove a point you know just share that investor password as well now we are going to select the winners for the two accounts that um, will be going out uh, either today or tomorrow so let's look at who the first winner is i hope it's not a bot account again so first winner that we got over here is j at jltd 32k sub the fam is growing thank you for that let me just screenshot this i need to start cleaning up my, my my desktop my desktop in any case the second winner that we have over here um they only know how to copy scams you Ulrich Witboy. so the two of you have won yourself a prop firm funded uh five thousand in the funded you know five thousand dollars in the funded account at jt and Ulrich Witboy. Please uh, drop me an email using this email. If you guys have anybody that you want to expose through scamming, uh, you can also drop me an email on here as well. Other than that, guys, stay away from DJ Coats and the course that he's selling. Um, you know, I just personally, you know, you can learn from my experience. And no, I, I, I don't have anything against DJ Coats. Uh, the difference between him and me is, is that I, I don't ever have to return anything that I have once I'm done using it. There's no reason for me to hate on him. I just really don't want people to go out there and spend their money and thinking that they're going to get what... Because I know there's going to be a wave tool for this uh, course that he's doing. And I know that... So guys, I was really hoping to get the course, but it's okay. Uh, if I do get it at any time, I'll definitely let you guys know. Thank you for your time. And as always, cheers for the years.